Hey there, Eden here. So today I want to talk about Langchain's tool calling feature. And this feature, in my opinion, is not getting enough hype and is super important because it gives us a lot of flexibility switching between models that support function calling. So up until now, if we wanted to use Langchain for function calling, we pretty much had to use OpenAI because all the implementation, for example, on the function calling agent was specifically tailor-made to the OpenAI's API. And when other vendors came out with function calling, like Vertex Gemini or Anthropic Sonnet, they had different API schemas for function calling. And because the implementation was tailor-made to OpenAI, then supporting it with other models was quite troublesome. But now what Langchain did is to level up the field and to offer one interface for function calling or tool calling, as Langchain calls it. And basically, it supports all the famous models with function calling, of course, OpenAI, Vertex Gemini, Mistral, Fireworks, and Anthropic Sonnet. And this was something that people have requested for a while now because they were locked for using only OpenAI function. So the interface consists of a couple of things, a bind function method, which takes the function that we wrote and tells the LLM that it may use it. The tool calls, which is returned from the LLM, and now when the LLM is returning an answer, this tool calls is going to be populated if there is a function calling invocation. And the favorite part is the tool calling agent. So up until now, we only had the OpenAI function calling agent. Maybe I can show you here in the commentation. So we had here the OpenAI function calling agent. And if we wanted to use other models, for example, Vertex Gemini or Anthropic Sonnet, we couldn't. So now we can with this new function, which creates a function calling agent, regardless of which vendor we're using and support all vendors, we support function calling. So we can see the example over here, which is pretty straightforward. We defined some tools. Maybe we can define even a function or simply describe directly the open AI format for function calling. And when we create the LLM, we can bind it with those functions. Then every time we make an LLM call, the LLM can decide if we should invoke those functions or not and return it to the output. And let's go to the agent part of this new release. And right here, you can see that we're creating a function calling agent, providing it with the anthropic sonnet model. And this is something that up until now was super hard to do. Alrighty, let's go to the demo I've prepared. So the demo is pretty simple. I defined some tools, the multiply tool, and I'm using also the Tavily search tool, which is a way to search online for real time data. And I'm initializing the tool calling agent with one time GPT-4 or OpenAI. And the other time I'm going to initialize it with Anthropic Sonnet, which now supports function calling. And I'm going to ask a simple question. What is the weather right now in Dubai? And to compare it with San Francisco, and I want the output in Celsius. I'm also tracing everything with Langsmith, so we can examine the results and see how everything is working. So let's run it in debug for the first time with OpenAI. And we got a result. Let's examine it. And we can see that we got the temperature in Dubai right now is 28 Celsius and in San Francisco, 8.9 Celsius. Now let's run it with Anthropic Sonnet. And the goal here is to show you how easy it is to switch now between the models. So we got the result. Let's go and examine it. And we got here that the temperature in Dubai is around 28 Celsius and San Francisco is 8.9 Celsius. So this is pretty much what we expected. Now let's go to Langsmith and let's now compare the traces. So this is the first trace of using OpenAI. So we can see the first time where the LLM was called is with a prompt. 
And the result is to invoke the tools twice. One time to send the Tavily search tool Dubai, and the other one to search the weather for San Francisco. So one API call to the function calling gave us two invocations of tools, and we can see right now the invocation. So we simply ran the function with Tavily, and we got there the answers. You can see it right over here. And this second time is for San Francisco. And the final call to the LLM, the second call was simply to wrap everything together and to summarize those results. We can see this is the output that we saw when we debugged. And now let's go, go examine what happened with Anthropic Sonnet. So we can see here we have three API calls to Sonnet instead of two. And the first time the LLM told us that we need to invoke the Tavali search tool with the weather in Dubai. Okay. And then we invoked it. We got a result of what's the weather in Dubai. And then the agent decided that we need to run it again. And then we went to the agent to see if we can return a result. And the agent told us that we needed to invoke another tool. And this time the Tavali search tool with San Francisco. So we went and we invoked it. And the, finally, after we had both results of the two function calling invocations, then we can see that we have here the output summarized, and this is what we saw. And that's it for this demo. And my goal here was to show you how easy it is to switch between models now with function calling. And up until now, that was not possible. And thanks for LangChain for implementing it. I think it's a huge step in commoditizing machine learning, and it was requested by a lot of folks who wanted the flexibility to try out and work with different models.